Okay, yes, yes, we are back today for another tutorial. It's a bit windy, however, you can still hear me. That is the insane combo you're going to learn. This is the Street King, done by the legend himself, Edward Van Gogh. Check it out. Okay, so as you can see, Edward Van Gogh is an insane legend of the game. He created this move, it's called the Street King. And one day I'll be filming a video of him. However, until then, until we can travel again, I'm gonna be teaching you a skill and you've gotta get it down. Combo looks a bit like this. One, two, three, triple lacquer. You know how we do it, super smooth, it's super nice and it allows you to take pictures like this. As you can see, the Street King here kind of looks like the ankle breaker there. However, they are very, very different. The Street King is a hopping motion. The ankle breaker is a two touch motion. If you want to learn the ankle breaker, hit up there. I can't done already have for now. We're going to break this combo down. So first one, going to be a drag back like an L turn. Foot on the ball, hop your weak foot forward as the ball goes back and release it this way. That's it. Very easy. Step one here. This is step two. It's an inside step over. Two of our strong foot, my right foot, we're gonna put it around the front and step over like we were just going like this. However, what is super important and which leads us to step three is we're gonna plant our strong foot. So we're gonna go one, two. I'm gonna lift. See, I've lifted it all together. And this is because the street kin itself is a hopping move. So I actually used to refer to this move as the tippy toe because we use the very tip of our toe. What we're gonna do, we've just planted our foot, we're gonna turn our body out a little, and we're gonna be ready to hop. What you have to do is hop the height of the ball, okay? Can't be doing none of this, you have to hop. And that's what's gonna make the awesome shape when you're in the air. And what we're gonna do when we're in the air, it's a pulling motion. We get to maximum height. Then as we're landing, we pull the ball forward like so, with the tip of our toe. It is not with the middle of our foot like this, different move. What it is though, is a grab and we take it. So we hop up, we reach, we grab it and we take. And as you see, I'm already stopping it with my weak foot. Boom. This is where we go into step four. <laughs> Here, triple acker, you know how we do. I'm pretty sure I've done a tutorial for that. If I haven't, this is how it is. Triple acker, balls come across. We're gonna roll it back. We're gonna come under it, okay? Come under it with the inside of our foot. As we do so, it will get air because we start changing the direction. It's like doing an inside scissor acker. However, we're gonna go one, two, straighten our leg, almost like doing an in air elastico. And that's the triple acker, just like that. Short, sweet, you lot of ballers, I know you can get it down. So, back to the tippy toe. Right now, you should be able to do this whole combo. However, I know you lot are the MVPs, so we're gonna level it up. I'm gonna give you some inspiration, and I'm gonna break down some different ways that you can be creative using the tippy toe. I wanna see you take these combos, put your own flair on it, take it up a level. Tag me on Instagram, tag Edward Van Gils on Instagram, we'll share the best on our page, you know how we do. So in this combo, you're actually gonna see me move the ball with a tippy toe, not just across my body, however, in different directions. We can take it back, we can take it forwards, and you can actually do this challenge, which I did on TikTok, you can check it out. So as you can see from that video, it's actually a challenge. You can see how many tippy toes you can do in a row. But of course, you're gonna have to learn it weak foot as well if you wanna get this move down. But I'm gonna get into those combos now. Okay, so that's some combos. I hope they give you some inspiration to have. And now, me and Bill, we're gonna try and use this move in a panel match to see how it can be applied. And hopefully that means it will help you not make all your friends with the epic Street King move. Let's get into it. Okay, 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 it's very windy. I hope you can hear me. We're gonna try and do some panels using the Street King move. This move, I normally put into ground moves. However, I can use it when 
I'm playing an actual opponent, but it mainly just looks awesome. So we're gonna see if we can create some variations, see if we can make the gaps. And yeah, I'm just gonna pray that Bill doesn't get revenge on me now. <laughs> It's a hard trick to use in Pana, however if you're creative there's definitely ways to do it. Yeah, you've just got to be careful. One thing that I want to emphasize is that when you do the trick, make sure that you jump first and you don't jump with both legs. Don't do this. This is in the air and then we do it. And you see that you jump and you land on the same foot. Just like that. And that is the correct way to do it. It's been an insane one. That is all for today. So if you've learned something, make sure you smash that like button. If you've got a new skill you want to learn next week, comment it down below. Of course, subscribe because this weekend there's an insane video. It's me playing five aside for the first time. See if I can actually play football or if I just dance around the ball. Anyway, make sure to hit that bell. Super windy. I'll catch you next time.